yield two minutes to the distinguished gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Moran. Gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Moran, is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I do the concern that my very good friends express on the Democratic side about the threat of violence in Colombia and the loss of jobs in America. But what I don't understand is how voting against this trade agreement helps on either front. A no vote does nothing to create more jobs in America, nor in fact to reduce the level of violence in Colombia. The fact is that the rate of violence in Colombia has been cut in half. The murder of trade union members is down by 80 percent. Uh, college enrollment is up by 50 percent. 90 percent of children are in school now. Poverty is down by 25 percent. Why? In large part because of the $8 billion in Plan Columbia we provided. Now the Colombian government wants to show their appreciation for our investment in Colombia's future by letting us share in their new prosperity. It's difficult to do that, though, when Colombia has average tariff barriers of 9 percent, agriculture at 17 percent. The U.S. has virtually no tariff barriers. And so this is a one-way street going in our direction, this trade agreement. The share of, U share of U.S. imports, though, to Colombia as a total amount of their imports has dropped from 21 percent to 9 percent. And that's because of the trade agreements Colombia has been able to sign with Argentina, Brazil, Canada, and others. And they're about to further eat into American jobs by signing a trade agreement with the European Union. So we in America made the investment to help Colombia become less violent, more democratic, and more prosperous, and now we want to disengage. Rather than reap the benefits of producing jobs, products, and services in America for export to Colombia, seems to me my very good friends on the Democratic side should support our president, who's doing everything he can to create jobs here. And he understands when we don't have tariff barriers that we have to overcome in other countries, we can better produce products and services to sell to those countries and to generate more jobs in this country. That's what we ought to be about. It seems to me a yes vote on the all three trade agreements is the right thing to do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.